Brian Sensei here. You know, Google Lens is a great app that's been around for a while. It helps you take an image and use Google to search and find out where that image came from or what's actually in the image. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new and improved AI Google Lens that's built into Google Chrome and you can use it on the fly to help you understand anything you're looking at on any web page. Let's dig in. Okay, so here I am in the Google Chrome browser. Now, example number one, I'm browsing the internet, I come across this article, and here's an image where I don't really know who's in this photo. So what I can do is use Google Lens to help me decipher. I'm gonna go over here to the top right corner to the More menu, then I'm gonna go down to Search with Google Lens. When I click that, I'm going to get this cursor, which will allow me now to left click, hold and drag to select the area of the web page that I would like to search on. I'll let go and look at this. Off to the right, we're going to get search results for this image. But what I can also do is type in an additional question. Who is in this picture? I'll hit enter and boom shakalaka. The picture shows the members of the rock band, The Runaways. AI goes to work for me to provide that information. Look at this, I've got all the band members. I've got more information down here about the band and of course links to more websites on the internet where I can get more information. All right, so I'll go ahead and close this. And I'm back to my normal view. Example number two. Let's say I'm reading an article here on the internet and maybe English is not my first language. Well, let's say I just wanted to translate the first few paragraphs here of this article. I'm going to go to Google Lens. I'll go up here to the top right corner to the More menu again. I'll come down to Search with Google Lens. All right, and I will select the text that I want translated. Now notice underneath my selection, I have three options. Select the text, translate the text, or copy as an image. I'm gonna go ahead and click translate. All right, and over here to the right, we can see our translator. We can do English to our desired language. Okay, scroll down some more, past the English version, and we'll get to the translated version. Also, you'll see that we can click the audio button to have this read back to us. All right, now going all the way back to the top, I can also add context to this text. I'll go back one, and this time I'll add the following question. Summarize this into terms a fifth grader can understand. Generating and boom shakalaka. We have a nice summarized description of the text in layman's terms. All right, let's try a third example. In this situation, let's say I'm learning some new content and I'm working through some homework or some practice activities on my own. In this case, I'm learning Algebra 1. So here I have a problem and I don't quite understand how to get started. I can use Google Lens to help me out. I'll go back up to the More menu at the top right and click on Search with Google Lens. All right, once again, I will select the area, the content that I would like to search on. And boom, shakalaka. Notice that we already have information. The AI has determined what this problem is and they've provided a solution. Not only provided an answer, but if I click show all steps, I'm gonna see the entirety of the step-by-step -step process of how to solve this particular equation. Okay, 
So those are a few ways that you can utilize Google Lens. Play around with it and let me know in the comments how you best like to utilize Google Lens. And I'll see you on the next one.